partaker of God's blessings as you listen to the word of God by Prophet Samuel Kakande. For he whom God has sent, he speaks the word of God, as mentioned in John chapter 3, verse 34. God has highly exalted him and gave him a name above every name that every knee must bother every time confess that Jesus is the Lord. God confessed him. Demon is to confess him that he is the Holy One of God. If your business accepts business yobwekiriza to kneel down before the Lord Jesus. It means it has accepted to be blessed. If your business confesses that Jesus is the Lord, already a blessing has entered. If your sickness accepts that Jesus is the Lord. Whatever Jesus will say, it will obey. We are the solution ground. This is Mr. Hobeb from Namibia. He is stressed for four years with a chronic headache. Time for Jesus to intervene. How are you feeling now? Fine. Thank you, Jesus. Lady Caroline from Saudi Arabia. Shala Caroline of Saudi Arabia. She has high blood pressure. And a pressure with multiple joint pains. Thank you, Jesus. Lady Accords with low abdominal pain. Shala Accords are listening to Mundina. She too is from Saudi Arabia. Naya Vidi de Saudi Arabia. And she's troubled with spiritual men and bad dreams. And we have some jobs that you can do now. Time for deliverance and healing. It's a Shamala from Kenya has hypertension. For five years. Time for healing. Lady Shale from Kenya has mouth sores. Time to be delivered and healed. And Lady Ruth Jerob from Kenya has got secondary infertility. For 14 years. Caused by bilateral tubal blockage. Time for healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. This is a lady footballer, Lady Esther from Kenya. She has a pelvic inflammatory disease with a inner tract infection for five years. Causing a lot of pain. Lady Kakoya Rebecca from Kenya. She has spiritual men with failure in jobs. And failure in business. And she was abandoned by her husband five years. She was abandoned by the husband five years. Jesus is the deliverer. Yes, Lady Asiko Wanga from Kenya. She has a spirit of fornication. Asiko Wanga kuve Kenya no zimugo wenzi. She wants to be delivered. Ayagalak sumululwa. Thank you, Jesus. Webale nyo Yesu. Mr. Andolwa from Kenya with business and financial failure. Mwami Andolwa kuve Kenya no business name biyefuna. For ten years. Okumale miyaka kumi. Jesus is intervening. Yes, Kristo yeta wamu songa ze. In his situation. And brother Benson with bad dreams. Mami Benson, I never tell you. For four years. Mani miyake na. He's being set free. Asumululua. Brother Dennis with bad dreams. Mami Dennis, I never tell you. For three years. Mani miyake satu. Thank you, Jesus. Webale nyo Yesu. That is Lady Harriet all the way from Norway. Muchala Harriet, I read the Norway. Receiving her deliverance in Jesus' name. Afno kusumula ke mulinye liya Yesu. What's up? Yimuka. Check yourself. <laughs> no more pain. I'm healed. The pain has gone. Now, next time, don't complain. And don't decide on the sex of the baby. 
This time I want a girl. God. This is true, yeah. She definitely wants a baby girl. My name is Nambiru Harriet. I've been saying, oh, I want a baby girl. I want a baby girl. So it's true, Pastor. So don't decide for God. Let God arrange it. Hallelujah. You want a girl, you have got a girl. But there is still a boy. Because you said, if I get a girl, I will stop producing babies. Of of God, that's what I said. <laughs> I said that if I get a girl, I'm not going to give birth again. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Jimmy from Belgium has got diabetes. Mommy Jimmy from Belgium, I know that was Sukali. At a level of 13.2, between the Kumina Sash now to Tundu Bovidi. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for healing him. In Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Special blessing and healing for the young children. Hello, this is Semera being delivered. Just Semera Basumululwa, all the way from Sweden. Avili de Sweden. Thank you, Jesus. Wabale nyo Yesu. Mr. Kenny Wilson from Canada. Mami Kenny Wilson of Canada. He has got pain in the right eye. As Wanyali said, he had young. With a headache on and off. Na umtuwa kumuma nyo kujane kugenda. For 20 years. Mali niya kama kumiyabili. Being moved against his will. Atuali wanga tayagali de. As Jesus sets him free. Be free in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. Lungo from Canada has got itchy eyes. Mami Lungo from Canada has got itchy eyes. With a backache and a headache. Jesus is the healer. Yes, we are one. This gentleman with failure. Oh no, Mami. I'm in finances. I know that I'm being for now. That is Mr. Spencer from Nigeria. Yes, Mami Spencer of Nigeria. Being set free. Asumululua. And brother, this is Mr. Wambumbu, David from Canada. Mami Wambumbu, David of Canada. With bad dreams and spiritual women. I never tell you names in Jagatana yet. With business failure. I never am a business. Time to be delivered. She said, I'm a small way. As a Yimuka. Thank you, Jesus. Where are you, Yesu? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lady Aisha Suwait from Tanzania. Muchala Aisha. Suwait of Tanzania. She has a spirit of anger since childhood. I know some girls who go to She has a spirit of drunkenness. And I know some girls who go to for ten years. Malemi Akakumi. Watch. As she's being delivered. Watch. 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 You still dream oh, a smallish wooden house. Akayumba, akemiti, akatono tono. Yes, that's very true, man of God. I always get that dream, a small wooden house. What man of God has said is very true. At times you are trying to walk out of it. Yes, man of God, that's true. And uh, when you are... You are like this. Something hit you here. Yes, yes, that's very true, man of God. I always dream about a wooden house, a very small house. Then when I try to come out of that house, something hits my back very hard. This boozing is not... Yours. It is only you are frustrated. You say, what will become of me? That's very People true, say I'm beautiful. But what is going on? I'm a beautiful woman. Everyone can see that. But I have three kids. One kid has a dad, her own dad, and the other two also have their own dad. 
and all those men have been disappointing me. Tufu nyo, ndi mchala mlunji nyo, naba ntawalabo, naba ngambe, naba chidaba, na eni naba naba satu, omu tatawe alie, abalala babi liba tatabu abwe, yomu, na emu naba anjiwa. Because your mom was troubled. Kubanga mama oya tawanyizi wa nyo. When she produced you people. Bwe abaza alaba ntumwe. Yes, yes. Three of you. Basatu kumwe. Yes. It became a big problem for her. <laughs> what man of God has said is very true. We were born three kids. And my mother had a lot of trouble when she had just given birth to us. My dad used to beat her a lot. Twazali wabana basatu. Era mama afa eri akamalo tuzala fa basatu na tandi ko kubona abona yafuna obuzuvunji nyo tata afa yamukubanga nyo. And uh, people started coming to the home. Abantu batandi ko kujja mu maka. So I'll marry this one. Baba ganze nja kuwasono. I'll marry this one. Nja kuwasoli. I'll marry this one. Nja kuwasono. This cannot happen. Chino te chisobola kuba. You cannot marry against your will. Tosobola kufumbirwa nga toyagadde. About the man who, who came to propose to me, I remember I was in P6 by then, and the man said he has to marry me. Same applies to my other sister. There is a woman called Hasfa. When you were young, you people, eh, things happen. I will not say directly. This is a woman who brought gifts to your mom. And uh, they used to bring food to her. For her thinking that it is just a gift. They were trying to steal the, the blessing from your people. Yes, what man of God has said is true. There's a woman who was my mother's very good friend. She used to bring food to, to our place, but by then I was still young. And she was Mm, he has come to the house like a this. And you say, oh, don't. He has come to sleep with you. Yes, man of God, that is very true. I always have that dream. When the man is coming, he puts on a kanzu, a white kanzu. Then he comes like this and he says, I have to marry you. Musajja kutonda chayoke de chitufu. Ndoto musajja musila munga yamba de kanzu e injeru. Elanga kazize chikufa chenga atambula nga bosi nga ngamba njaga la kuwasa nino kuwasa. Thank God that this your leg is still on. Because you got a problem, it was to break your leg. Kubanga wafuna obuzi, wabuzi wuna wali wafume nya magulubo. That's very true, brethren, because I always have pain in this that leg. leg. Yes, the right exactly. leg. That's very true. Chitufu nyam sa kachonda. Chalo kufuno bulimu kugulu kuno kwa dio. Reza. Yimuka. You are going to bring in the woman called Sandra. Ogena kuleta omukaza iti wa Sandra. She looks a bit beautiful. But she has suffered. Demon is That's very true. Sandra is my friend. What man of God has said is very true. She always gets evil attacks. And I'm going to bring her here. Omsajja kutonda chayo kete chitufu Sandra mumanyi mkwano kwange alumbi buwe mizimu ila ngenda mule itawano. But one of your kids has a problem. Ne omu kubana po alinobu zibu. The problem starts from here. Obusi bubuta andi kila wano. Yes, what man of God has said is very true. My boy called Aaron has that problem. Omsajja kutonda chayo kete chitufu mutabanyi wanga iti wa Aaron na inobu zibu obo. He always gets pain behind here. Atela funo obulumi ya mabe kawano. And then it comes here as headache. Obulumi nebu jeno ngo mutuo guluma. Very true. What man of God has said is very true. Bring the baby and Sandra. Thank you, Jesus. Lady Jacqueline from Tanzania. Muchala Jacqueline Okuve, Tanzania. She has low abdominal pain. Alizwa nyomundila. With spiritual men for 10 years. Nemzimja wasa jajaga tanayoka ya miyaka kumi. 
and bad dreams. Jesus is here to set you free. Yes, Lady Anne from Kenya has abdominal pain. She's being delivered right now. Lady Elizabeth from Kenya. She wants to be delivered. In Jesus' mighty name. Lady Purity from Kenya is four months pregnant. She wants to be delivered and she has bad dreams and spiritual men. Your family has been fought because of the land issue. Because you people, you had a big land. It's true. Nearly the whole mountain was yours. Yeah. It's true. Until when people came down the mountain. It's true. They started destabilizing you. Yeah. It's no true. Don't worry. Uh, those riches will come back to you and your children. Mm. Thank you. Asante. You see an animal. Ola ben solo. Yes. The dream. Muchiroto. Yes. Chitufu. By the name of Jesus. Neri nya Yesu. Be far from you. Chikubere wala. Thank you, Jesus. Webale nya Yesu. So there was a war there. Wali walu talo eyo. And uh. This was between the mothers of their houses. That's very true. Man of God, what you're saying is very true. This lady from Rwanda has got abdominal pain. With bad dreams. That is the Mukamusoni. Thank you, Jesus. Lady Atieno from South Sudan. Muchala Atieno kuve South Sudan. Being delivered in Jesus' name. Asumula muli nyeri ya Yesu. Time to be set free. Chisela cha kusumula luwa. Changu wano. Time to break all the chains. Chisela cha kusumula njaga razo na. Rise up. Yimuka. You dream that the war has come back again. Yes. And uh, men are pulling you. They are trying to rape you. And you shout. That's, that's true, man. And the pain in this leg. Has really troubled you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Brother Nyandui from Rwanda. Mami Nyandui okuve Rwanda. With bad dreams. The problem you people, you have the spirit of mental, mental problem. Obuzi uba muina ba antu mwe mufamilia mwe mulina okutabu kwa mwongo. Amazina ya anje. My name is. Nitko Nyandui France kwa. Hava natrutse murugwanda. My name is Nyamindua France kwa from Rwanda. Na janga. I came here. Umukazi wimana. Samuel Kaka and Sengere. For the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande to pray for me. Yeah, and, and he prayed for me. And he gave me a prophecy. And he told me that my problem is that our family has mental problems. What the man of God said is true. I have an uncle who has a mental problem. And his son too has a mental problem. My sister standing next to me also has a mental problem. Her daughter too has a mental problem. Even my mother has a mental problem and is mad. Therefore, what the man of God said is true. 
Ndashima Yesu kuambura umuryango wanje. I thank God for delivering my family. Ndashima numwanuzi w'Imana usenge Samuel Kaka. And I thank the man of God prophet Samuel Kakandia for praying for us. Mr. Mujeni from Congo, mwa mugenyo kuve Congo with bad dreams for 10 years. I never tell you kwa miaka 10. Uh, there is a big land over there by two people you deny you you abandoned it na udongo hiyo fasi lakini nyu watu mliacha hiyo udongo mambo unasema ni kweli what you've said is true jina langu ni mugenyi akim toka kwa kongo my name is mugenyi akim from kongo mambo ambapo nabi anasema juu yangu ni kweli what the man of god said is true kuhusu udongo ambapo tunaacha kwa kongo about the piece of land we left in kongo Ile udongo kweli ilikuwa wa baba. That piece of land was for my father. Wakati tulikuwa wadogo sana, udongo likuwa pamoja, tulikuishi na, pa, na wababa pamoja. That piece of land was for my father and we used to stay there when we were still young. Alakini kisha miaka nyingi. After some time. Baba akatutosha tena kuile udongo. Our father removed us from that piece of land. Kutupeleka pengine. And took us to another place. Atukujua kama ile udongo ni yetu. We didn't know that that piece of land was ours. Kisha muda murefu. After a long time. Baba akafariki. Our father died. Diumana ili udongo. Then that piece of land. Tuliacha. We left it. Kwa sababu atukujua ni yetu. Because we didn't know that that piece of land was ours. Nataka ni akikisha ya kweli. So I'm, I'm saying the truth. Mambo nabi anasema juu ya udongo. That what the man of God said about the kweli. piece of land is true. That is Lady Helen from Sudan. Oh, I'm Chala Helen of Sudan. Being delivered. Asumululua. That's up. Yimuka. Spirit of accidents. Oh, Mr. Mugoku Wakubu Venge. Yes, man of God, 2017. <laughs> to stop today. It was from the house your mom married. The never liked her. It's true man of God. And this, these are the problems you are suffering. It's true. Whichever money you get, it's you get trouble, big trouble. Oh my God. It's true, it's true, it's true. My name is Helen Jokudu. Pitwa Helen Jokudu. I'm from South Sudan. Vidi the South Sudan. Man of God came to me. Masaja Kchandaba Dan Sabida. And he prophesied for me that I have a spirit of accident. I confirm man of God is very true. I have always accident. Even last year, I have an accident with my children. By the grace of God, I'm alive. The second prophecy, he prophesied about my mother. That my problem it started where my mother got marriage. What man of God said is true. My father left my mother with ten children. He stayed with his second wife. Even my mom's house was burned last year. And we don't know that fire came from where. All my brothers, they are drinking too much. Also me, I'm not performed very well. 
what my what prophecy say is true 100% is true deliverance is coming on tunagena maso from istangabo from rwanda eri mwami ngabo ku berwanda with a back ache linye la manya ya yesu para blood of jesus no msai kwa yesu This bed is being set free. She's coming from South, from South Sudan. You had a black girl. She's a bit short. You love too much. Walina omuwala omuddu gavu mumpi mpigo wayagale nyo. Friends. Mikwano. Destroyed your life. Eh mikwano jayo no no bulamu bwo. Praise Jesus, brethren. Kama favors wa Buganda. It's me Aturhi Abias. Pitwa Aturhi Abias from South Sudan. Okuve South Sudan. When the man of God was praying for me, he gave me a prophecy about the black girl, a bit, a bit short, whom I loved too much. What the man of God said is true. I know that black girl, a short a bit, whom I love too much. We studied together in this school. He, she was my friend. We used to share everything with her. We were like sisters. But the time came. I used to call her. She, she could not pick my call. If she picked, he did not receive the way how we used to talk. She banned on my call. Even she, she could not call me. So I thought... She did not need me more. I stopped calling her. And since that time, I ended the relationship with her. Right now, I have no friends. I thank God for healing me, for delivering me, and I forgive my friend, I ask Jesus to forgive me, to deliver me, to heal me, because I hated her. It now has become too much for you. Ever since you people entered that house, you feel mad. Strand of God. You dream that you are falling into pit, into rivers. Strand of God. I'll ask you of this child. My name is Naloi Soroz. I'm a Ugandan living in South Sudan. When man of God was praying for me, he gave me a prophecy. And he told me that I dream of myself falling in pits and falling in so much water. Man of God, Father, told me that ever since I entered that house, I have never got peace. And sometimes I feel like I want to run mad. What the man of God has said is true. Whenever I dream myself falling in pits and falling in water, in the dream I see myself trying to fight so hard to come out of those pits or that deep water, and sometimes I see people trying to help me come out of them. But whenever I get those dreams, my finances fall down. And whatever money I get, it will just go through my hands. The result is me staying in the house and hating myself. Because then I cannot afford to take care of my children and my mother. 
Again, man of God gave me another prophecy. And he told me that I should tell him concerning the child issue. What the man of God has said is true. What I know concerning the child issue. I aborted the pregnancy. And the pregnancy was three weeks. Ever since that time, I lost peace. So all that the man of God has said is true. Lady Susan Killa from South Where Sudan. Where did you Scarry. leave your husband? And why? Era Luachi. This lady is barren for 10 years. Mucha Susan Killa from South Sudan. Mukumba kumani miaka kumi with bilateral tubal blockage. In second zone, business is bikira. It is over today. Chiwe dolwa lero. Thank you, Jesus. We have a Your dream, something small. Oh Lord, it's into a chitono. It is like a snake. Yes. Yeah. Small walking like a deer. And he said, go. Look at the yes, what the man of God is saying. <laughs> but to your surprise, you can see through the snake. And you see blood, blood. Yes. It is not a snake. God is showing you your tubes. In the name of Jesus. It is over. I'm called by the name Susan Kila Emmanuel. I came from South Sudan. Man of God asked me a question. Where is my husband? And why did I leave him? What the man of God is saying is true. I leave my husband because he has a wife and the two children, and he was deceiving me. I have to leave the relationship. And he said, prophecy, he said, I was dreaming a small snake is doing like this. What the man of God is saying is true. I dreamt a small snake moving like this. Thank God they had killed you. That is Mr. Mugisha Moore Vincent. Oh, yeah, Mugisha Vincent. I'm by name of Mugisha Vincent from Southern Sudan. I came here for the man of God to pray for me. When the man of God was praying for me, he, he gave me the prophecy. He told me that I should thank God because I was almost dead. I confirm what the man of God said is 100% correct. It was in 2008, back in southern Sudan. By then I was riding border border. It was coming to 9 p.m. I carried one, one passenger. On our way going, I didn't know that he had a different mission. He poured chloroform on me and I got unconscious. He dropped me in a trench. He took my motorcycle. He undressed me. In the trench where he dropped me, I was there for three days. On the, on the third day, at around midday, someone was bypassing and she realized as something like a dead body. By then, I was like a dead body, brethren. So this lady went and reported to the police station. The, the policemen came. They carried me. 
They took me to the hospital. Ready to drop me to the mortuary. So the news saturated. My fellow border boarders came. So one of the doctors said this person maybe is still alive. He touched my right hand on this vessel. He said, this person is still alive. I was transferred to a certain clinic and they started uh, their medication. In that process, I got I got an injury I got an injury on my left knee. This this is the scar that confirms the incident. So I was put on medication and I was healed. I confirm the prophecy to be a hundred percent. True. I, I thank Jesus who saved me that day. And I thank Jesus who has healed me. I thank Jesus who has delivered me. And I thank the man of God for the endless prayers. Glory and honor are given back to Jesus of Prophet Samuel Kakande. The struggle of the property. Vita ya vitu. Uh, it has ruined your lives, you people. Jina langu tumaini katumbo baseme kutoka Congo. My name is Baseme Tumaini Katumbo from Congo. Ntumishwa mungu ametuombea. The man of God has prayed for us. Akatoa unabia kusema ya kwamba tatizo langu lilianza wakati ya property. The man of God was praying for us and he gave us a, a prophecy and he said that my problem started because of property. What, what the man of God said is true. My, I've got money problems because of property. Tunakumbuka tuliuza parcele ya kwanza kabambi. Tuliuza udongo. Udongo kabambi tukaanza majenzi. We sold a very big piece of land, then we started building. Then in the middle, we failed to finish the building. We sold part of the land. Then I used the other money for, for business, transporting beans from, from Congo to Kinshasa. Then that business failed. Then the other piece of land which remains, some people want to take it plus they, and they want us to pay us more money. Kisha hapo mume wangu naye kazi alikuwa akitumika kwenye Monisco kazi nayo ikaisha. Then my husband also lost his job. Ni kweli haya mambo yote ambayo mtumishi amesema ni ukweli kabisa inatutatiza sana. Although the man of God is said is true, we have many problems. Mr. Masubi from Congo. Mwa Masudi okuve Congo. He's jobless. Taina mulimu. With business and financial failure. Alara mu business name bien funa. Ever since the vehicle issue. Tangu ile mambo ya gari. I want to sell a vehicle. Musaji akatenda chaweke de chitufu ni nemo toka tenja jagala jitunda. Mume wangu baba. He's my tunapitia, husband. Tunapitia matatizo mengi kuhusu gari. Tukiuza gari kwa bei tukienda ujisha inaribika yote. Maisha inashuka. Saidie baba. Thank you Jesus for the spirit of truth. Wale Solomon wa mazima. Reveals to save. Awe kulebia mokolo kola. There is a dead woman you dream. Wale wa mkazo mfugu walota. Whenever she comes in your dream. Wale wa mchiro otocho. Whatever you do. Wale wa mchiro otocho. It is true man of God. That is my cousin's sister. She's called Oleki. Even yesterday I dream about her. She has died. Be free of this problem. My name is called Dichiru Grace from South Sudan. Dichiru Grace of South Sudan.
When a man of God was praying for me, he gave me a prophecy. He told me that I dream of a dead woman. Whatever man of God has said is true. That woman is called Helen. She is my cousin sister. She died in 2013. But whenever I dream of that lady, when I wake up from the dream at night, that is the time when I will begin to experience severe headache. I will feel joint pain all over my body. But since the time when man of God prayed for me, the pain is not there now. I thank God for the spirit of revelation. And I know that God it, has delivered me from the problem which has been troubling me for so long. Praise the Lord. Your singing is demonic. Whenever you, you dream, you see that you are in a demonic place through what man of God has said. My, they are singing, they are drumming. Do, 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 do. My name is Kaiwa Rogers from South Sudan. I used to dream when I'm singing and I'm in the village. Around me, I used to see people who are drumming and they are around bushes. That's what I used to dream of. So this is the issue. And that is why you don't progress in your music. There was a young man called Alex. He wanted to help you. But demons sent him away. I thank God for the prophecy which has come to me. Really, last year, there is a man called Alex we met in South Sudan. He told me, Rogers, everything concerning your music I'm going to fund. But I don't know how things went. Because you dream that they have brought new music set good thank you Jesus what man of God is saying is true really this is my day I used to dream when I have a studio somebody is getting me new machines and I told him ah, I don't know how to play these things what can I do he told me don't worry don't worry Oh my God. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why is it surprised? Why is it surprised? I never told anybody concerning this. Never. The Lord has saved your life because you were going to die in the The Lord has saved your life because you were going to die in the toilet. This is an old toilet. Back there in the village. What man of God has said is true. I remember I was in P2. We had an old toilet and it was for these uh, the woods. Wo woods, yes. Yes. So one day I went there, it was night. I tried to I just step a miss. And one tree went down. Exactly. exactly. I remember the popo there. The the young exactly. Exactly. Well, around, around the toilet, yeah. Hey. Behind there is a, a purple tree hey, and a mango tree. Uh -huh. What man of God is saying is true. And the problem of the stomach. It has been troubling you. Oh my God. I thank Jesus of this praise. Even today, I have been not feeling stable. It is from the dream that you are seeing somebody bringing food. Sometimes you don't see that woman. Yes. yes. 
But sometimes you, you, you want to see her. Yes, she's a bit small. Yes, a little bit tall. Exactly. But you want to see the face, you don't see the face. It's just turning like this and send the food. What you are saying is true. I used to dream when I'm in the village, there is a woman is a bit short, used to bring me food and is hiding the face. Rogers, this is your food. What man of God is saying is true. There is another name you did not put. David. David. <laughs> David. What man of God is said is true. My name is Kaiwa Rogers David. I normally not use it because my parents told it to me when I'm grown up. So I don't too much consider David. The name is called David. There is a woman they used to call her Naka. 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 If you want me to say it, oh, Nakafero. What man of God is saying is true. There is a woman called Nakafero. He's in the village. So this woman, she's in the village. So this woman, used to tell my grandpapa, this boy could sing. But we don't know how we can help him. But now I've grown up, I don't know where that woman is. But look, after you seeing that they are giving you food, your eyes can see well that you are being taken to the graveyard which was under the Mutuba tree. You don't reach proper, you wake up. What man of God is saying is true. Because I, I normally dream when I was taken in the, that tree, uh, there is a mutuba tree and a mukokoe tree. Mm. And in that mukokoe tree, that's where they are, we are buried. And remember that man called Chiyimba. Never step into his home. This is a disaster. On the small path where you used to corner from, there was a Mukowekowe tree. And old coffee plantations. What man of God is saying is true. I had my friend we are studying together. So that friend of mine we are neighbor to that man. Chiyimba. And near the house of Chiyimba there is a mkokowe tree. So I used to go to my friend's house to visit them during the weekend. We used to pass at Chiyimba's house and Chiyimba was complaining a lot. These boys, they are going to steal my jackfruit. And the money you lost, when I come back we shall talk about it. Woo! <laughs> hey. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, church! My name is Kaiwa Rogers from South Sudan. Three months ago, I got a, a job at a, a big hotel in South Sudan. I was working as a plumber, but somebody passed from... Uh, then I went to the work, I was feeling headache. Then I was slightly dizzy like this. This man took my picture and sent them to my boss. That's how I lost the job. And that job was paying me good money. I never got in my life. You recover your job. Your money. Rise up. Mm. You dreamed that they were taking a dead body. And 
And you say, eh, what is that? No, Gamba Checho. Isn't that Musa's body? Ogosimula Mboga Musa. Ogosimula Mboga Musa. Ogosimula Mboga Musa. Hey, hey, what are they taking? Chiche Batualecho. What man of God is saying is true. Oh, I'm such a good thing. My name is Kayo Rogers from South Sudan. This is Kayo Rogers from South Sudan. I had a dream. Nafune Chirot. When one of my friends is called Musa, is a painter. Ngomu Kumi Kwano Janga, it was Musa. Ono Yom Sizi Wala. Taken in the. How do you call it? Coffin. Then I called my friends. Ah, come and see. Is it true that Musa has passed away? What man of God you are saying And this woman, Sarah. I don't want to say much. I was in senior four. I had a relationship with a girl called Sarah. This Sarah used to tell me. Rogers, if you leave me, I don't know where your life will be. What man of God is saying is true. So you still see this woman in the dream? And what you say, man of God, what, what is this? Whichever woman you get to marry, you, you check whether she's like a Sarah. Hallelujah! What man of God is saying is true. Ever since I left Sal, I used to dream her. And if I, I see a beautiful girl, I can say, can I start with this one? But she will be like Sal. Up to now, I'm not married. And because, because of the woman called Sarah, who told me, if you leave me, I don't know where your life will be. So, I will release you from this Sarah issue. But why do you like Muslim? Because there is Fatima. Hallelujah! What man of God is saying is true. I had a girlfriend called Fatima. Uh, my uncle used to tell me, Rogers, why don't you marry from Fatima's home? Rogers, I told him, let me see. But when I was talking to Fatima, Fatima told me that I have to change from Christian to Muslim. That's how we separated. What man of God has said is true. 100%. Now you still want Muslim. No man of God. Why do you say no when I see Brahim's family? Mm. What man of God is saying is true about Ibrahim's family? There is a man called Ibrahim. He's in South Sudan. I used to do maintenance in his house. And there is a beautiful girl there. <laughs> you maintain the house and the girl. The accident had killed you. Thank God. It is by the grace of God. I'm called the secular Alex from Juba. It was secular Alex Okuve Juba. When the man of God was praying for me, he told him about the accident which was going to kill me. What man of God told me is true. I remember that accident. I'm a metal fabricator. I was doing my work. I touched the live cables. Then the power shocked me. I lost the understandings. I found myself in the hospital. So what man of God told me is true. It was God's grace. That kept me Alive. Something come and wake you up in the dream. What man of God has said is true. My name is Kabogoza Joseph. I'm standing here to confirm the prophecy the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, has given me.
When he was praying for me, he gave me a prophecy and he told me that whenever I'm sleeping, I get something like a nightmare that wakes me up from the sleep. Brethren, what the man of God has said is true. Whenever I'm sleeping, I get a dream. Seeing myself with a spiritual woman. But whenever I get that dream of the spiritual woman, I wake up in fear. And then all that I'll be doing by that time will start failing. Even when I have an appointment to be given money, that is where it stops after getting that dream of a spiritual woman. That spiritual woman or that person who wakes me up from sleep. So what the man of God has said is 100% correct. And after this prophecy, I believe that now I am free. I thank Jesus for delivering me and the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for me. I give him all the glory and honor.